Love and Light Collective, thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot. Welcome back to my returning subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Love and Light to you. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment below. Make sure the notification bells is turned on. And I appreciate you for stopping by. If you don't stay the full way through, I appreciate you for clicking on the video and just hearing me out for the little time you did. Okay, y'all, please excuse my voice. My voice is raspy. I um, just woke up, so don't talk about me too bad, okay? So this is a timeless reading, and it is general, okay? So please only take what resonates with you in your situation. Leave the rest. Don't apply things to your life that do not belong, okay? So let's just go ahead and tap straight in with messages from Spirit. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, please allow me to tap into the spirit world. Connect me to the universal energies. Um, my ancestors of light to put the light around me and the collective and the viewer watching this video put the light in and through our homes and protect us from any dark energies and frequencies okay please protect my crown chakra my third eye chakra my whole body my bones everything protect the viewer as well and allow me to channel whatever messages you feel the viewer needs to hear okay and once again y'all don't forget to like that video Okay, subscribe, like, 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 and like, 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 like. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what do you have? What do you have? What are we discussing? We have pay attention to the red flags, deception, and romantic feelings coming out in reverse. Okay, engagement. Mm, 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 mm. okay so somebody may be trying to propose to you or somebody has plans okay i'm seeing a bunch of different situations so bear with me okay first off starting flat off there's an engagement surrounding this reading okay somebody may be trying to pursue a marriage or pursue a long-term commitment that involves being married eventually but someone just wants that ring or someone is doing anything to get a ring on their finger okay or this could represent somebody sending somebody through a whole bunch of bs only for them to end up engaged okay like somebody's making somebody go through a lot of trials and tribulations to be engaged to them okay like somebody's being put through the ringer um to say they have a ring or to say that they're married or they're gonna be married or somebody's choosing to disobey the signs from god with this pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you somebody's getting a warning of how their marriage will be um before they even go forth with the marriage we got deception. There's a lot of deception in this connection before this marriage even takes place. And then we got romantic feelings in reverse. So if it came up in the upright, <clears throat> it would represent a person having feelings and it being worth exploring. It would Let's say this came in the upright, but it had pay attention to the red flags, deception. This would represent somebody going through bullshit, being warned that a person ain't for them, but there's feelings there between two people, which is kind of giving a little leeway for a person to give this person a chance, okay? But it came up in the upright. So somebody's being warned flat out or somebody was warned flat out. Like, listen, this person is showing you already in the beginning how they're going to be doing you. They've already been deceptive to you before committing to you. For real, because like they always say, you're single until you're married. Okay, so this person already showing you that they have red flags about themselves. They're deceptive and that their feelings are not strong for you like they appear to be or like they claim that they are. But you're pursuing an engagement with this person. Or this is representing somebody choosing to get engaged with somebody, knowing that the feelings really ain't there, knowing that they're deceptive, and knowing that there's so many red flags about this situation. So that's the energy of this read. We're going to tap straight in with more messages to see what's going on. Let's bear help me dig deeper into this reading. Let's 
says at the bottom of the engagement card, your love life is a is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yeah, somebody is not there emotionally with you or with somebody else. If you're watching this video to figure out what else was going on with somebody else, it's basically letting you know like somebody's not there feelings wise, love wise, but they're still pursuing a long term commitment with this person anyway. Okay. And my LED lights just turned off. They just fell over. So, yeah, this person, okay, it's a bunch, like I said, it's a bunch of different situations that's going on in this reading. Somebody's marrying somebody um, with this great mother at the bottom of the deck. Okay, somebody could be marrying somebody just for the sole purpose of having children with them or them being a great mother to their children, okay? But there's not any love being delivered in this situation, okay? So it could be an engagement. Somebody could be putting a ring on somebody's finger off the strength that you got their kids or that this, uh, you know, if you're watching this video to be in someone else's situation, see what's going on in somebody else's situation. It's a marriage happening for the kids. Somebody could have two kids, a boy and a girl with a specific energy, okay? And their reasoning of marrying somebody is for the kids or a woman could be going through with an engagement. I'm hearing an engagement party. So somebody may have an upcoming engagement party coming up, but they feeling like iffy or feeling like, is this the right decision that I should be making? Should I be pursuing something far with this person because of all this shit that didn't happen or they even took me through in order to get to this process? But yet thinking about the fact that they share two children together or just children together in the, gen in the situation. They're like, okay, maybe I do need to show my kids. Somebody could be thinking like, I wasn't brought up in a two-parent home and I want this for my children. So maybe I need to ignore the deception, ignore the fact that there's not really love in between me and this person and just do this for my kids. Okay, but there's also a reason, and, I mean, not a reason, there's also energy that, like I said, somebody is really taking a lot Okay, taking a lot or feeling like they have to, this is what love is. You have to go through a lot of deception. You have to go through um, seeing red flags about a person. You have to go through a person um, not having feelings for you. It'll grow in time. Somebody feels like, yeah, I know he's not in love, but in time it'll grow. This could be some sort of a arranged marriage as well, like two families putting two people together. Or two people being forced to get married because they had kids. That's another situ a situation I'm picking up on. Also, at the bottom of the deck, we got thinks, gifts, heal the problem. And I want a family with you. Let it be. Okay. So, it's like confirming with this, uh, this energy. This great mother card with this red, pay attention to the red flag. Spirit is letting you know, viewer, if this is your situation or if your person is going through this with someone else. Let's say you're dealing with this person and you want to know why they're involved with another energy. Okay, or why they're trying to engage with this person or get engaged with this person that you're in love with. Take it how it resonates. Spirit is like, okay, just because you have kids with this person does not mean you have to ignore red flags about a situation with this person. Some people are not meant to be together just because they have kids. It's not always written in the books like that. That's not always everybody's path to be with the person they have kids with. You don't have to ignore red flags about a person. You don't have to ignore the signs that are cautioning you because you wanna look like a great mother and look like you have the perfect situation, although you're dealing with a deceptive person that when they do shit to you, they can't heal it by change behavior. They heal it with gifts healing the problem. They think gifts heal the problem or you're dealing with somebody that does deceptive shit to you and then they go and gift you, gift you with money, cars, clothes, um, financial um, stability. They keep, you know, keep you, your pockets full. They keep you in the latest designer, keep you in you know, keep your bills paid. They're doing things materialistic for you, but emotionally with this romantic feelings card being reversed, they don't have feelings for you. And deep down inside, 
they don't want a family with you. You see, this woman is pregnant and is saying, I want a family with you. Somebody could be pregnant or somebody could be getting engaged out of guilt that they're having a child with you or another person. Okay, if this ain't your situation, this is how your person is feeling towards the energy that they're involved with that's not you. If you're not the person they're getting engaged to. But if you're getting engaged and it's a lot of shit, this person took you through a lot of shit to be where you are at the moment with them. These are the reasons. These are their feelings. Spirit is saying, let it be. They're warning you, hey, do not go for it. If this person proposed to you, you need to turn down this um, engagement because this is going to be a horrible marriage. Or somebody is engaged to somebody that when it, when it's official... It's going to be terrible. It's already bad, but it's going to be terrible once it's locked down. Okay. I feel like this person want to lock this energy down for a specific reason. And it's not just because of children. It's because of something else. And we're going to dig into that. But with this romantic feelings in reverse, somebody is like not in love with somebody that they have a kid with or that they have pregnant, but could be like, okay. I want to tie you down because in the future, I might grow feelings for you. This may change. My romantic feelings may turn from being upside down to upward. Somebody's like, maybe she'll grow on me. Or maybe they feel that this person or feel that you were deceptive to them in the past. So now they want to marry you and make you miserable and be deceptive to you. This could be like when y'all first got together, you maybe were cheating on them. Or they were cheating on you or y'all both were cheating on each other. Because it's like when you first get in a relationship with somebody, you really don't take the situation serious. Well, not everybody, but some people don't take the situation serious in the beginning. Okay, some people be like, okay, we just started dating, but I'm still going to entertain these other energies. And then it gets serious, then it gets real. Or then a baby comes in the situation. And I feel like you may have done something or this person, you may not even did anything. This person just may simply feel like you did something to them um, and they're paying you back or their revenge is to give you a miserable marriage with them. Lock you down, lock you down with children. But somebody does look at you as a great mother. And that could be why they're like, I'm going to marry this woman because I love the woman that she is to my kids. But at the same time, I don't have feelings for her. My feelings are not there or your feelings are not there, but you think that they're a great father to your kids. They're a great provider. Or if you're dealing with somebody that is in this situation, they could feel like I'm not in love with this energy, but they are a great parent to my kids. There's a lot of red flags in this situation, but they are a great parent to my kids. Yes, yeah, she's pregnant, but... I don't have feelings for her. I mean, of course, I'm going to have sex with this energy because we're together, but the feelings are not there. It's just something I have to do to continue to give this relationship life. I need to let this be. But instead, I'm going to put a ring on your finger to fake it out, to fake the funk. Or because my family thinks that you got kids with this woman. Why you ain't going to marry her? You've been with her since y'all was teenagers. Why wouldn't you marry her? Okay, hey, like somebody's getting married only because of some children. This one from my random messages bag. We got rushed into a situation they're not happy in. So <laughs> thank you, Spirit. You on point early this morning. Okay, so. I feel like two people both ain't happy in a situation. On the female side, I feel like a female is looking at it like, this is my family. I have kids with this person or this person has been around my kids. They've grown to love my, love my man. I'm going to marry this man. People could be telling this energy, don't do it. You're wasting your time. They're really deceptive. You, this energy may not even think that they have a deceptive fiance, but the world and the city, the community, the job, the streets know that this person is real embarrassing. This person could be going around telling somebody they don't have feelings for you or feelings for that energy that they're engaged to. If you're not the person that is engaged and you're in a third party situation. They could be going around telling people 
I rushed into a situation that I'm not happy in, but she pregnant or, you know, but she helps me make money or she's a successful woman. She has a good job. She's brought me opportunities or her family has brought me opportunities or she really loves me. She's done nothing but tried to please me. I can't do her like that. I would like to let it be, but I've already put the ring on her finger, like telling people these things and they can have it can have people looking like this girl don't even see the red flags like omg and then this man okay could also be getting told to pay attention to the red flags because it could be a situation where this energy has put up with so much from this masculine energy or either she's put them through a lot they they've put each other through a lot she could be the one or be the type making him feel like he can't be there for his family. There could be a situation where somebody's engaged, but they're not with somebody that is currently pregnant. They don't want a family with somebody they have pregnant. They would rather pursue an engagement with a person that they rushed into a situation with, or they could be engaged to somebody, got someone impregnated, and it's telling this person to get engaged to that they rushed and just they were upset. This could be a break baby, like not to call the baby a break baby, but this could be a baby that was made on a break with this person that they're engaged to or this person that they have a baby with. They could have been with them first and took a break and they decided to get engaged to another energy, take it how it resonates. But I feel like this masculine could be being warned to let it be as well because whoever they're engaged to or whoever their fiance is may have a problem with them being a family or accepting that they do have a family with another energy or they don't want them um, raising their children, want them around their children because they may feel like there are still feelings attached to whoever this woman is that bear their children. Okay, that's a message. Give me more messages, spirit. I will find a way to fit in when I'm not wanted. Yeah, this person, this whoever, the fiance, the man or the female, someone feels like this person is pushy. Like, I can't really get rid of her or I can't really get rid of him because when I, he, no matter what he does or whatever she does, they find a way to fit in with my family and my family likes that or she won't let me be done with her or he won't let me be done with him like when he's always doing things for my family or she's always doing things for my family or they're always trying to fit in and it just looks good you may not be the type of energy if this ain't you you may be not you may not be the type of energy to try to push your way through the doors to get somebody to accept you like I said, this is a, a fiance who didn't fault to the finish to get that ring on their finger. They didn't put up with a lot of disrespect, a lot of breakups, a lot of waiting to somebody's done playing in the field, a lot of disrespect, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of humiliation, a lot of babies being had, a lot of just consistent embarrassment. A lot of red flags have been revealed to this energy and they don't care. They don't care about deception. They don't care that this person has admitted to them countless times. I don't have feelings for you. I don't want to be with you when they get mad or bringing you up. However it resonates to hurt them. They don't care. They find a way to fit in even when they're not wanted because they really want this serious commitment with this person. Why spirit? What, what, what's the, why do they want this? That yeah, good P-U-S-S-Y eater, okay? A good the JJ eater. Um, your person could be good in the bedroom, okay? They may be able to use their tongue in a very, very magical way, okay? Like I said, there's a such thing as sex magic, clitoral magic. If your clitoris is flicked a certain way, you can... Exp uh, D secrete different pheromones different hormones um different vibrations you can get a lot of different things accomplished off of 
the vagina. The vagina can really, the vagina is really a magic bolt. Okay, so if somebody's giving you head a certain way, and um, they can pretty much either, if you're not using that energy wisely, meaning like if you're not taking the time, like if somebody's giving you head and you're just thinking about how good it feels, but you're not using that time to manifest the things you want, they could be doing the same. They could be giving you head and manifesting what they want from you and controlling you through your vagina. So that, that's why they say people need to learn sex before they indulge in it because sex is magic. And this person could be putting holds on this energy, got this energy like gone off of head. Like I can't give that up. He the only person that know how to please me. I'm not saying that's the only reason that they're staying with this person, but that is obviously playing a big part in why they're staying. Okay, y'all see the card. I don't wanna really say it too much, but good P-U-S-S-Y either. They can't get rid of that tongue. <laughs> Give me another reason. DM to Karmic. I married you for your money. Thank you, Spirit, for coming in clutch with the confirmation. And I randomly pull cards from that bag. Okay, y'all saw me shake it up. So, yeah, that's the reason. Okay, this Karmic is financially stable. Or if she's not financially stable, she's going to figure out a way to make sure her family has income. Her man's pockets is ran. Um, not ran. Okay, she might run his pockets, but put the money back. Or she's just really supportive financially. She has the go-getter mentality. Um, and I'm not saying you don't. Okay, or if you're the fiance, this is how they feel. They feel like they want to keep the... Yeah, there's not feelings there. Yeah, they're deceptive to you. Yeah, they have other things going on, but your job, your salary, the fact that you'll work two to three jobs, you might have different checks for different things coming in, or they have different checks for different things coming in. That's a lot of income, okay? This man is gold digging somebody, or this could be a person that has a rich family, has some sort of inheritance that they revealed they got coming at a certain age, something like some money okay it's a money connection it's a money marriage no feelings involved but you're gonna keep my pockets growing or you can help me get my business running you got the you will you're willing to take out loans for me you're willing to sacrifice for me and i like that okay so that's the messages that i have for someone out there if this resonates with you please make sure you like share and subscribe love and light